everybody. Welcome to Carry On Jeff and John once again. Get that lined up there. <coughs> what we're going to be doing today is spicy, um, sticky. Big boy Johnny, 25, thanks for coming. Alison, thanks for coming, sweetheart. Absolutely awesome of you, darling. Hope you're getting better soon. Jesse Kids and Colleen, thanks for coming. Freddie Farrington, awesome, mate. Can't hear me. Can you hear me now? I can barely hear you, my volume is on full ball. Right, can everybody hear me now? I can't see you and the good food. Well, I'm here. Here I am. That's better. Thank you. Loud and clear, John. Thank you, uh, Jackie. I just want to say thank you for Jackie. She's an awesome lady, big YouTuber, and she always shows the love to this channel, so go and check her out. Everybody, show the love to each and every one of you. You're all absolutely awesome. You really are. Hi, Jackie. Sun City Soap and Candles, yes. Freddie Farrington, absolutely fantastic. We've got 15 people in here, we ain't got no lights yet. Well, we're hoping to get some lights. Just have to excuse me with this camera. Just one minute. There we go. I must set up a bit earlier than this. That's all cockeyed, that is. Well, there you go. Right, everybody, keep showing the love to each and every one of you. Right. What we're going to be doing, like I said, we're going to be doing... Um, sticky chili marmalade meatballs. Now this is the this is the ingredients you want. You want two teaspoons of hot sauce, five hundred grams of um, minced meat, the five percent fat. We don't want any fat. This is going to be a healthy one. This is. A medium sized red onion sliced, thinly sliced leeks, two tablespoons of soy sauce, about a thumbnail of ginger cut up into fine pieces, two cloves of garlic finely chopped, two tablespoons of marmalade. Now you're going to think meatballs with marmalade now this is absolutely awesome it really is right one moment just going to move these ingredients out of the way you've got to be organized every single time I hope everybody's having an awesome day because we are. And I just want to thank every single one of you for the support you're showing this channel. It's absolutely awesome, it really is. Right, mint. Well, 
And while we're doing this, put your oven on full ball, 220. Right, put your mince in. And what we want to do then is put your garlic in. Ginger. So if you're going to be following this recipe, get that uh, oven on 220, full bore all the time. Right, that's your ginger and garlic in there. One minute. Is that all right? Can everybody see okay? Right. What I want to do is incorporate the garlic and the ginger. Get it in there. Yes, see, fine. Thanks, Russ. Thanks for coming, mate. Hope Mel's there, will ya? Right, mix all that in there. Just want to say hello to a few people. The Aussie Housewife. Thanks, Rob. Homemade and Sin City. Absolutely awesome of you. It really is. Joyce McGuire. I love watching other people cook. Well, that's absolutely fantastic. Don't want to miss anybody. I used to make meatballs with brown sauce and potato puree plus cranberry jam. That sounds awesome, Raphael. It really does, my friend. It really does. Right, we mixed all that in there like so. So what we want to do now is make your meatballs. Now I'm going to do them about as big as a snooker ball. See that? Get yourself a tray. Now we don't need to put any grease in there. The simple reason is you get a bit of fat from the mince so they're not going to stick. So what I'm going to do I'm going to make roughly about six of these. Go. Look at them, they're awesome. I should have gone live yesterday, but some have propped up. There's always something that props up, trust me. And that's why I've gone live tonight. But we will be live on Sunday, uh, 9 o'clock UK time once again. That's our regular slot. Me, Ted, thanks for coming, my friend. Absolutely awesome. I watched yours the other day. Um, with all them gadgets you've got, it's unbelievable. You've got to check him out. Really, I call him Me, Ted. His, na his name is Me Creamy Barbecue. Show some love to that guy. Uh, Chris, sorry for calling you John, mate, but I used to think it was John. Awesome guy. Brenda, thanks for coming sweetheart, absolutely awesome of you, it really is. I haven't missed anybody on the housewife, another awesome. Right. Right. I'm going to make six. When you put your meatballs in your tray, make sure you leave a little bit of a gap. Well, we've got 14 people, I ain't got a light yet. Are you waiting for the, uh, see how this turns up before I can get a light? Right. Just going to wash my hands. Absolutely awesome, I it really is. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, it really is. 
Right, meatballs. Now they're massive meatballs, they are, they're awesome. We're going to put them middle shelf, and these want to be cooking for about 25 minutes. I'm not expecting a big crowd tonight because it's Thursday, there doesn't seem to be a lot going on. So there you go with that. So, what's the time now? 34, what would that make? 34, no, 12, another 13 minutes. So when that's on 25, I'll show you what we're going to do. So they're cooking away in there. Now what we've got to do, is get yourself a little saucepan like that. Soya sauce, two tablespoons of soya sauce. Let's get the fire on first. Then we'll use the back one. Here we go. Soya sauce. Chili sauce. And then you want your marmalade in there. This is going to be awesome, this is. And all we do with this, we just want to melt the marmalade. Just mix that in there like so. As soon as the marmalade's gone, you know this sauce is ready. If you want, you can put that in a bowl and put it straight in the uh, in the microwave for about a minute, and then it'll be uh, then the marmalade will be melted. This is going to be awesome. This is. You can use any marmalade you want. Let that simmer away there. Turn that down a bit. We'll say hello to a few people. Just want all this marmalade to melt. You've got a nice syrupy consistency. So I can't answer you because there's no chat on there. Like I say, I just want to thank everybody that supported this channel. Absolutely awesome. It really is. I don't blame you, Brenda. I wouldn't move at that temp. Making it look so easy as always. Now that's what we want. See that? All the marmalade's melted now. You've got to make sure the marmalade, we don't want any lumps in there at all. Right, now what we've got to do, we've got to take these meatballs out now. We just want to get them set. A few minutes in there. Awesome. What I want to do now is put your sauce on. Perhaps 
absolutely awesome. You're going to love these. Absolutely awesome, these are. We, did, we had these last week, and I thought, well, I'm going to show you how to do these. And put them back in the... Uh, put them back in the oven. The trusted wok. We're not going to start to do the uh, onions and leeks yet because we've got to wait for until this is shows me on here 25 minutes. We're going to take them out after about 13, 14 minutes, and then we're going to put some more glaze on it, and then we're going to start to do the buttered leeks. I'm making meatballs this weekend. Chris, they're absolutely awesome. You can't beat them. You really can't. You really can't. But you've got to check out Meat, meat uh, Craven. I'm going to call you Meat Ted because I think everybody will know who you are. I wish you had to change your name, I really don't. Um, absolutely fantastic. Victoria was right, I'm already hungry. Thanks for coming, Victoria. Absolutely awesome. Check Victoria out, check each other out, keep showing the love because that's what it's all about. Like I've always said, leave me a comment and I'll always get back to you. Even if I have to watch your... One of your videos three or four times, you know, sometimes I've, I've watched it, I've commented on it. It's because I've watched all your videos, that's the only reason. But it's still showing the love. That's what it's all about. Beach Life, thanks for coming. Beach Life 78, we're going to have a pint together, me and you. Nice pint of Guinness. Check out Beach, Beach Life 78, he's an awesome guy, always shows a love, always comes here, our YouTube family. Well we've got 13 people in, I didn't think we'd get that many in tonight, I really didn't. Kathy's crafting friends, now I want some meatballs. Kathy, um, <coughs> Katie, Katie, um, it's a bit bad what happened the, 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 other, the other day. Uh, regarding the, the, the police and whatever and that. That was bang out of order. That really is bad. It really is sweet or But I hope everything's okay now. That's the main thing. Evans Gates Cherry Farm. Watching you cook. Thanks for coming. Absolutely awesome. And we've got to keep showing the love to each and every one of us. Because if we don't show the love, what is the point? I mean, we... You get some people that make friends with you, they come once, and then you don't see them again. And then you look back on your video and you think, well, I've not seen this person for four months. And you think, if you don't show any love back to them, YouTube are going to delete us anyway. So that's what I keep trying to get across to people. You've got to keep showing that love. Hi, Neil. Thanks for coming, my friend. Absolutely awesome, mate. Neil's always here. Keep it clean, Neil. And there's no mop. No mop tonight, mate. So that's uh, Fox, you ain't it? Do you want to check these meatballs? With the meatballs, when you put them in, just keep shaking your thing and they won't stick to the bottom. But these won't stick anyway, because meatballs have got a bit of oil in it anyway. But always use the 5%, because who wants fatty meatballs? Absolutely awesome. They smell beautiful. They really do. I'm um, good beach life, but extremely hungry. Laugh out loud. I Sulka, Sword Channel, um, another awesome lady from Scotland. Um, enjoy watching your video, sweetheart. I really do. I really do. So check her out. Right, I'm always get to learn. Always get the lean ground beef. That's right, Brenda. You've got to get the. You, it's no good getting fatty meat and fatty mints and all that, you know what I mean? It's no good for you. So you're dead right there, sweetheart. I like meatballs in Kung Pu sauce. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm weird, Chris. Honestly, that is nice as well. Kung Pu sauce, can't beat it. Fantastic. 
So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here with you. And I expect your meatballs are like big footballs, aren't they? Because everything's massive. I've noticed with uh, meat eaters or in the, in the United States and that, they love the meat, they love the barbecues and everything's massive. I always remember going to uh, Florida and was walking around this park and I seen this guy and he looked like a rounder's bat. Um, I said to the missus, what's that? And she said, I don't know. So I got closer and looked on that. And somebody else bought one for me. So it was a big turkey leg. He could have fed all six of us. Well, all five of us. That's the time in my family. Six of them. My mum always comes on holiday with us. And I'll tell you what, it was absolutely awesome. It really was. Then I went to New York City. I must have had a hot dog on every street corner. Love them. Raphael, mushroom man. Absolutely awesome. What glaze are you making for the meatballs? I'm doing um, a chilli, um, sticky marmalade sauce, which is two tablespoons of marmalade, um, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and two teaspoons of hot sauce. Now you can use fresh chilies if you want, or just use a sauce. There's that many uh, hot sauces around, not a problem. If you don't like it too hot, just use a sweet chilli. And that's your sauce for you. Chris, that's what it is, mate. And that's your sauce there, mate. See that? See? And that's going to glaze the meatballs. And the flavours with this recipe is absolutely awesome. And I mean absolutely awesome, it really is. Yes, we eat very large portions here in the USA. You're right, man, I know, I know. I've been, I've been a few times. New York was absolutely fantastic. Um, Florida took the kids there. I think everybody takes the kids to Florida. Um, you know, the lucky ones anyway. But um, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Great, great country. And I must say, I've met some uh, awesome people. Um, since I've been going live. So I don't do many um, filming now um, because I like to interact with you all. You know what I mean? It, it's, we've built up such a good family here, it's unbelievable. And it's the same people all the time that come and support us, which is fantastic. If we keep showing the love to each other, I mean the 16 people in here, by right, if you're not friends with them, be friends with them and your numbers will go up. But, like I said before, it's, numbers mean nothing. You've got, to keep, you've got to keep showing that love to each other. You know, what is, what, is, what, is the, what is the point if we ain't going to show the love? Freddie Fines is another great guy. John Brooks, thanks for coming, my friend. Um, I'm not seeing you for a few weeks, like, but they'll come back and see you again. You know, it's absolutely fantastic. But... You know how it is. You get people will come in. You know, they'll, they'll show you the love and got you and all that lot. But then you don't see them again. And I think to myself, what are you doing? Because that ain't showing the love. Anyway, 25 minutes. So they've been in there about 13 minutes. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to take the meatballs out. There's the meatballs. Move that out of the way. What we're going to do now, this is very important, this is, when you're doing this recipe. You've got to do them for about 13, 14, 14 minutes. And what we do then is you reglaze them again. Look at them. How awesome. Hence the name, sticky, chilli, marmalade. You know what I mean? And whatever you do, don't waste any of this marmalade. This sticky sauce, don't waste none of it. Just get it all on there like that. Don't waste any, and that's what I'm telling you. Absolutely awesome, these are. They've got like a... a sweet... A sweet taste with a little kick 
kick of spice. Look at that. Beautiful, absolutely. So it don't matter how much mess you make, because the wife will come and clean it all up for me, you know what I mean? Back in the oven now for about, we say 25 minutes, we've already done 13, so another 12 minutes, these are going to be absolutely puckers. We've got 15 people in here and I've not got one like, so am I doing something wrong? Almost like barbecue, yeah. Yeah, you're right there, uh, Raphael. Almost like barbecue, mate. You didn't cook them... You didn't cook them all the way, Johnny. What do you mean, mate? What do you mean, Ross? You didn't cook them all the way. See, what we're doing... You cook them halfway through with that bit of sauce on. And the best thing to do with meatballs is put them in for about five minutes just to let them to firm up. You know, that, because I haven't put them in the fridge, I mean usually you put them in the fridge for about an hour just to firm up. But I find if you put them in the oven for about five minutes, they'll firm up for you or stop them from breaking up, in theory. Now that's another tip for you. Now I've got 18 people in here and I haven't got a light yet, so is anybody going to give me a light? What happened with your wife, John? What happened with your wife, John? I don't understand that. I'm trying to read these, it doesn't stay on long enough. It's burnt on one side and undercooked on the other. What's burnt on one side? I don't understand that. These are not burnt, my friend, don't you worry about that. I've been in this game too long to burn. On my screen I've seen 18 likes, mate. Well, I don't see one on here, mate. I don't see one. 15 likes, mate. Right. Got 18 shown on my screen. Well, I don't know what sort of mine, but I've got 17 people and I ain't got a like on it. So, But if you tell me you've got likes on, that's good enough for me. Got to be doing something right. You know what I mean? Even McDonald's milk meatballs looks better and it's not even done cooking, Johnny boy. Okay, mate, like, absolutely awesome of you. Thanks for your comment. Hi, Elegant. Elegant Tim said, thanks for coming, sweetheart. Absolutely awesome of you. It really is. Right. 13 other 10 minutes. Right, job done. Get yourself a walk. Tea fell, best you can buy. Fire. About an ounce of butter. That'll do it, innit? You don't have to be precise. So, a noggin of butter. What do we start the spaghetti? We ain't got no spaghetti, sorry. Right, smelt that butter. And I'll guarantee you one thing that ain't gonna burn. That's not gonna burn.
one medium sized red onion. Absolutely pockets. Absolutely awesome. Everybody keeps showing that love. Absolutely awesome of you. Sorry, I can't see the chat. Now what we've got to do is put the leeks in. Twenty one large, can't be bad. Can't be bad. Oh, absolutely awesome. Now we can turn that down slightly. Because I'm going to teach you how to cook properly. You know what I mean? And all we're doing here is softening the leeks of the red onions. This wok is absolutely awesome, it really is. Absolutely awesome. I just want to thank everybody for, for the support. You're all absolutely awesome people, you really are. Brenda, thanks for coming, sweetheart. Absolutely awesome of you. Don't forget, sweetheart, we love you loads. Absolutely fantastic. Just got to give the meatballs a shake. Because that's the secret for meatballs. If you keep moving them, moving them around, shaking them, same with any meat, they will always be all right. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Oh, it's George KM. Thanks for coming. Absolutely awesome of you. It really is. See, as I've been pointing out, can anybody see anything wrong with them? Would you say that butter was burnt? I don't think so. You know what I mean? I wouldn't think so at all. Absolutely fantastic. But it smells wonderful. That smells absolutely awesome. It really does. Right, just turn them down now. All we're waiting for is the meatballs. You can't beat home cooking. You're dead right there. You are absolutely, absolutely awesome. You really are. I just want to thank for all the support that you show to this channel. Absolutely awesome of you, it really is. Right, my friends. We're ready for plating up.
You know I like my presentation. Look at that. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome these are. You've got to try these. Then what we do Spoon a bit of that awesome sauce on there. Now, how awesome is that? I'm just going to take the thumbnail, that bit off there. It's got to be right every time. And there we have sticky chili marmalade uh, meatballs with buttered leeks and red onion. Now how awesome is that? Now the flavours are here, here are absolutely fantastic, they really are. Katie, Kathleen Elliott, thanks for coming. Absolutely awesome. We sometimes have wine from the start. Yeah, that's it, Russ. Yeah, you're right, mate. Um, is that all right for you? Is that all right for you? Now, that's a meal one to try. Freddie, it's absolutely fantastic, mate. I think it's called gravy. Can I have a bite? You certainly can have a bite, my friend. You're always welcome here. Bangkok, black, you're always welcome to come here and show the love to us. It's absolutely awesome of you, it really is. Thanks for coming, I do appreciate it. Yeah, they are quite big. It's up to yourself. You just do little small uh, meatballs, Rafa. It's entirely up to yourself, my friend. You know, so, you know, it's up to you. I've just done them big side like that, so I think they look better like that. I really do. But um, is, anybody, is there anything you want me to cook on Sunday? Give me some ideas and then we'll, uh, we'll have a go, shall we? Patrick... Pat Stubbs, thanks for coming sweetheart, thank you for the hard work on the dish, well that's absolutely fantastic of you, as long as you appreciate it, that's the main thing. Nathan Bobo, pizza, pizza man, well we'll have, we'll have, a, look in, we'll have a look into the pizzas then, yeah he's asking me to do pizzas and that, so I'll tell you what, we'll have a little go on the, uh, the old pizza shall we. Okay, taste one gone, need to know what you think.
Threading, they're awesome mate, they really are. Cooked all the way through. Fantastic. And I'm not just telling you that, they are, they're really nice. The nice buttered leeks. Mmm. Freddie, you gotta do this one, mate. Gotta do this one. It's so, alright, it's not showing any lights up here, mate. Must be something to do with this uh, contraction of the camera, but there you go. And if you don't want to put the chilli sauce in, what you want to do is put some fresh chillies in and give it a, a, a nice bite. This is like, um, it's like meatballs with sweet, sweet chilli sauce. But that marmalade, it really sets it off. It's absolutely awesome, it really is. I'm an old cock eye, my camera keeps moving. You know what I mean? Have I missed anybody? 18 people in here, absolutely fantastic. I didn't think I'd get 18 people tonight. I really didn't. But, um, yeah, I'm pleased with that. I really am. Absolutely fantastic. Don't understand why this camera is. Yeah. But one job to another good job. Thank you. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, great job. John King, I'm going to call it John King because I can't pronounce that very well. Uh, great idea for the sauce with the marmalade. Thanks Russ, fantastic. Hey, hi Billy, hi John. Thanks for coming in my friend. Absolutely awesome of you. Elegant Homestead, another awesome lady. She really is fantastic. Nego, hi, welcome to the channel. And my brother is my brother is in Texas. I'm surprised Texas I've really ain't in tonight because she's from Texas. She's absolutely awesome, she is. Need go. You're always welcome to come here. You're always welcome to come and join our YouTube family. You really are. Did I get the marmalade from Russie's? Yes I did. He sells the best. Bargain Buy sells the best marmalade in the UK. It's absolutely fantastic. So if you ever come to Baiting on Trent, go and see uh, Russ at Bargain Buy. Honestly, he's fantastic. He really is. Sweet, you're sweet as well, sweetheart. You really are. Always welcome to come here. Uh, come and see you Sunday. We got an awesome crowd in here. Great friends. Um, half of them ain't in tonight, half of them, half, half the regulars are not in tonight, so we've got to be proud of ourselves. Just want to thank every single one of you, absolutely brilliant. And uh, I'm quite pleased with myself uh, because um, the goon's gone, the one that's trying to rile me up, but um, what are you going to do with them kind of people? You, you just ignore them, you know what I mean? Sweet sauce for meat dishes, great combo, so right. Great job John as always and please make a few peeves and mods so they can eliminate trolls quickly. Yeah well, does anybody want to be, be a moderator for me? I should have had one in here tonight but um, obviously she must be at work and whatever and that. Um, so I, I think I do need to get one or two in because you do get people that are just jealous. I mean they're just, they're just goons, you know what I mean? People like that. But I don't bite, because at the end of the day, I'm not, here, I'm not here for them. I'm here for my YouTube family, every single one of you. The Aussie housewife, always there for you, sweetheart. Every single one of you, you're more important. I ain't bothered. The only thing I'd be bothered about is losing my friends. So it doesn't make no difference. To, uh, I've had it all thrown at me all my life, you know what I mean? But I don't bite. I ain't bothered about people like him. An absolute goon. True, you do get them those people. Ah, oh, waste of bloody time. Patrick Stubbs, wish I could come over for dinner. You can come round here any time. You know what I mean? 
not a problem. You could try these, you'd love them, you really would. That's right, this family is awesome. It is. And at the end of the day, we're not going to get anybody to come and, and, and wreck our uh, community. They really ain't. Because they won't stand for it. You know what I mean? You're right, well, it's always a nice crowd. Absolutely fantastic people in here. We all know each other. We all show the love to one another. And that's what it's all about. It really is. Don't forget, leave me a comment and I will always, always, I'm not plugging or anything, well I'll always come and show love back. And I think you know that. Cutie me, welcome to the live stream. Absolutely awesome of you. Thank you, I really do appreciate it. Right, is there any... Uh... I'll be a moderator for you. Alright sweetheart. That's awesome uh, Pat. Now... I believe when we when I when I shut it down, do I press that three them three buttons on the side and then it comes up with the moderator? Do I press the moderator? Is that how you do it? Kathleen Elliott, sweetheart. Crafty Kitty, welcome. Absolutely fantastic. I really do appreciate everything you do for me. Um, and that's awesome of you, Pat. It really is. Thank you. I do appreciate it. Crafty Kitty said that one. Yes, I think so, Don. Well, I'm going to try it. Um, and just um, send me a message to say that it's been done, that you are a moderator. I wouldn't know if... I, I wouldn't know who was a moderator. I really wouldn't. You know what I mean? Does it does it come up the same with this lady, the moderator, whatever? But we'll have the moderator. Because we need to... Um, as this community is growing... We've got to we've got to weed out all, all the uh, crap, you know all the crap that um, these these people come out with. But I'll tell you what, I hope he comes back next week, um, and then we can perhaps have a laugh with him, can't we? You know what I mean? People saw coming in, always nice to see. They're always coming in, Russ. You know what I mean? They're all they're all fantastic. These people are. This live is lit, Nigo. Please, please come. Please be part of our community, Nigo, and, and, and we'll look after you. We really will. I'll do it for you, Don. The more moderators I've got, the better it'll be. Absolutely fantastic. Right. Do you, is there anything you want to ask me? Did um, did um, did everybody see 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 the arsehole that came in? Did I bite? No. You know why? Because I know how to cook. I've been doing it long enough. If I don't know now, I'll never know. But I ain't gonna have no uh, arsehole um, criticise me. I really ain't. I'm gonna stand for that. But what you do with them people is just ignore them. You had a couple in yours, um, had a couple in mine. I'll say, like you say, sweetheart, the best thing you can do is just, uh, just ignore them. You'll get where's my bloody mop. Do you know this meal, all he goes on about is my mop. Now I'm going to show you something now. This is where we keep our mop. And the first thing when Neil comes in is he'll go on about the mop. Well from now on we're going to keep that mop there just for you Neil. How about that mate? Bless you. Absolutely awesome Neil. I want to thank you Neil for um, you know for being because Russ said you could be a bit, bit of a lad but you've been, really, you've been an absolute true gentleman to us in, on this channel. And you keep coming, you know, and you're just absolutely fantastic. Uh, Neil, I'm taking on board what you said about these um, 10 cooking tips. Um, I'm working on them, mate. And then I'm going to, perhaps I will do a video and I'll get my brother to uh, edit it for me. You know what I mean? So, we are working on them. That'll be all right. Hi, Ron. Sorry I'm late. I'm re-watching the replay. 
I'll re-watch the replay. Thanks, Ron. Absolutely awesome of you. Now, Ron's having a bit of a um, bit of an hard time at the moment. He really is. Um, I hope we get it sorted, mate. I really do, Ron. You're an awesome guy. And you think you've lost a few friends, Ron? You've, you've, you've certainly not lost us as friends. You really haven't, because you've always been there for us, mate. Absolutely fantastic. The gun shows some love to Ron. He needs cheering up. He really does. He's part of. He's, he's part of our YouTube family. I can vouch. I can vouch for Ron. I really can. If you want any help with anything, he's the man to see. He really is. What's the middle say? Thank you, Patrick. Do you sell them, Russ? Mops, that's where I got this from, Neil. This mop here. Um, one pound ninety nine for the uh, for the mop. Three ninety nine for the bucket. I think it was twenty six quid for the disinfectant to go in it. But you've got to buy the disinfectant before you sell you one of the mops. Now, how awesome is that? Russ sells anything. Hit the green wizard, not me, laugh out loud. That's it, keep sharing the love. Green wizard, wizard, hugs and elegant. Cheers, Ron. I know that's your other channel, isn't it, mate? Absolutely fantastic. Ron, you're awesome, mate. You really are. And I do appreciate your support, I really do. Now, these are cold now, but hey. They might be cold, but they're nice. Mm. Ross, I'm, I'm not at work tomorrow, mate. I was going to save some of these for Mel. But I'm trying, mate. I can't. There won't be none left. Well, they won't last till Monday, anyway. The combination of them flavours are absolutely awesome, they really are. Sweet. Got a bit of tang to them. And with the leeks and red onions goes really well. Really does. But if you don't like leeks, you can always just have the meatballs over with some rice. It's entirely up to yourself. You know. Did not get those cases. Scratch weeks. Thanks for coming, sweetheart. Now I'll tell you something now. These notifications are a joke because as many a times if we haven't seen anybody for a few months we'll think, hang on a minute, let's go and check them out and show them up, shall we? And when you get there, there's no notification, the notification button switched off. You'll find that, I don't know, 30 or 40 percent of the bells are off. Now we're working so hard to, um, we're all working hard to produce uh, live streams, uh, videos and all that. And if them bells can't be, can't be left on, what chance have we got? Because we all should be getting more views than what, what we are doing. You know what I mean? There's one channel I know, you get 36 views every video. Now that can't be right. Because your videos is absolutely awesome. And even he was moaning about it. So what's happening there? It's ridiculous. And like another thing, when people subscribe to you and they've not even watched any of your video for at least a couple of minutes, that that uh, that person, that sub that subscriber doesn't exist. It doesn't count. So these ones that go on live streams and uh, subscribe to every single one here, uh, and then go and check that they've even watched your uh, your video or your live stream or whatever, then it won't count. It'll go on and then by morning they've all gone off. You know what I mean? But we, we don't subscribe to anybody that's not watched our channel. If, if not, I'll go and check if there's no comment, they're not commenting on the video on that, I'm not interested. Because at the end of the day, why would anybody want to subscribe to a channel if they hadn't even watched it? Now you tell me. 
Would you buy a car without even looking at it? Do you see where I'm coming from? So, you've got to think of that. But I expect you know that anyway. You know what I mean? I'm going to put these in the microwave later for warm them up. You know what I mean? I see it as they're missing out. Yeah, they are missing out. Yeah, they're missing out. They really are. But all they're doing, sweetheart, is they're just trying to get the numbers up. But I can, I can guarantee. I mean, I'm preaching this to you, but I'll tell you something now. If I subscribe to somebody, which I don't, I, I don't really subscribe. I don't really, I don't go into live streams and and whatever and that. Trying to get subscribers. I'm there to show love to that person who is already subscribed to me. Now I get people, um, six or seven people that subscribe to me, not even watch my channel. Um, I'm not interested, I really ain't. I mean, some of it's, when you do go and have a lot of just curiosity, who it is like, you know what I mean? And it's not my scene, you know what I mean? But. If I have subscribed to you, it's because you're part of my, my, it's part of my life, really. You know, you're my YouTube family. And I've met some awesome people on this, some fantastic friends. I really have. And that's what it's all about. It's anything I would miss. But never out of uh, doing YouTube. I mean, I started this for, for a bit of a laugh. And it just grow, grew, grew and grew. And I think what it is, it, 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 it's in your blood after a bit. You know what I mean? But I'm, uh, I'm a bit fortunate really that I don't have to rely on this. But some people have to try and get an income from it. But I'll tell you now, you will not get, you will not get rich on YouTube. You really won't. I mean, I give more away um, on Snapchat. Every now and then I'll give somebody some money for a few beers or, or whatever than that. I do it because I want to do it and, and, and the friends of mine, you know. You've got to be, you've got to be genuine in this, um, this game, you really have. Victorious, hi sweetheart. Go and check that lady out, she's, she's absolutely brilliant, she's all makeup and all that. Sometimes I don't know what to say to her. But I will, will tell you one thing, she's a, she's a very beautiful lady, she really is. It's absolutely fantastic. Always comes and shows the love. That's what it's all about. Freddie Farrington, John, I'm off now. Send regards to your mum. Thanks, Freddie. Yeah, my mum, um, my mum had a, f a fall and uh, she broke her shoulder. Uh, she's in, she's in hospital now. So every other, every other day I go up, my brother goes up, my sister goes up. You know, so there's always some, someone there for her. Um, she made me laugh. We went up to see her. Uh, what day did you take Thursday? Went up to see her on Tuesday. I said, "You all right, Mum?" She says, "To this food, this hospital food, is making me dizzy." Which I thought, I, I just, I just laughed. I, 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 I was in stitches. I read, "Why would the hospital food make you dizzy? Would, would it be the morphine one that's making you dizzy?" You know what I'm saying? Just so funny. Bye, Freddie. That's it, absolutely fantastic. There you go, Freddie. All the family waving to you. Nee, you all peace, Freddie. Nee, welcome. Absolutely, absolutely awesome, you. Yeah. I hope to see you on Sunday. Come and see us on Sunday. We'll, we'll, um, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll get some, we'll get some awesome food again. Yeah. Now she just fell. Uh, Pat, she just fell in the hallway. If I hadn't gone round, she would have been there for about a day and all. She really would. It was only because I go round to see my mum often. Um, and she was on the floor, bless her. But my mum, I mean, she's 73. But she's so independent and that. Goes to the shops every day. She's, up, she's always, on, always goes on the bus. She only goes on the bus because she's got a free bus pass. If she didn't have a free bus pass, she wouldn't go anywhere. You know what I mean? The day when my mum... Um, forgets um, money, then I know she, she needs to uh, she needs to come and live with us basically, you know what I mean? I upstairs. It, I keep telling my mum, 
uh, Kathy, you knocked it upstairs, Mum, but my Mum's so proud, you know, and she struggles up the stairs and all that, you know. But I can't tell her. I just can't tell her. Um, what I'm going to do now, um, I just want to thank everybody, and I mean everybody from the bottom of my heart, for coming to support us. Uh, you're all great people, you're all my friends, and what I'm going to do, I'm not going to have these now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in a tub and I'm going to take them up to my mum's and I'm going to chuck them in the microwave up there for her. You know what I mean? We all know that there's not enough money in these hospitals, the NHS and that, uh, you know, and some of them, some of them nurses and that, what they have to do, they should be on a thousand pound a week. They really should. What they have to put up. And when I went to see mum on that ward, I thought, what? Crikey, it's scary. It really is. Yeah, she's getting, they're going to assess her rent now for her own help, because, like you say, my, 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 um, my sister Yvonne, she lives um, quite a way, and we're all lads, and you know that. I mean, I, I mean, how could I watch my mum, and how could any of my brothers do? How could I, Jeff, and that do? You just can't do it. Um, and we've got, we got lives to lead. I'm not saying that mum's always well looked after, but um, we've got a business to run, and you know, we've all got to work in that. My mum needs round the clock, she really does until she's right but she'll bounce back because she's absolutely awesome right i just want to thank everybody for watching carry on jeff and john um and i'd like to a big thanks a massive thanks for the troll that came in he was fantastic he was what a show he put on um so i'm hoping to see him again um i want to thank pat for wanted to be a moderator. Now, I don't know if it's better to have one moderator, two moderators. Does it make any difference how many moderators you have? Kathleen hugs to mum, that's, that's sweet. Absolutely. Did you say no, I'll have for a sec. Yeah, it's done very well for 73, really has. Fantastic. Right, I'm going to take these up and in my camera and that. I just want to thank everybody for watching. Carry on, Jeff and John. You're all absolutely awesome and I'd love to stay longer because you're all brilliant. Um, and I'll see you Sunday, 9pm UK time. We'll see what we can come up with there. Now, I know you're on about pizzas, but I'm not going to have enough room on here. You know, put the flour on and and do the dough and all that. You know, am I going to have enough room? That's what I'm. That's what I'm worried about. Uh, Scratch wings. Um, another awesome lady. Thanks for coming, sweetheart. Raphael, Pat, Circus World Channel. Uh, another great lady. Neil Ellison. Um, Kathleen. Bye, everybody. Ron. I can go on and on and on. You're all absolutely awesome. I love you to bits.